All right, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to filter and sort an Excel spreadsheet with gene expression results. So in your gene expression results, uh, you'll have a few columns. You'll have a gene name, uh, maybe some other identifying information about a gene. Uh, the fold change, uh, a p-value. In this case, it's the false discovery rate adjusted p-value. And then some other data about that gene. So if you want to, let's say, look at only the genes with the highest fold changes in either direction for genes that are significant at a false discovery rate of 0.05 or less, it's relatively easy to do that. Um, so first we will create a new column here. So I'm going to right click in front of the column that I want to insert uh, an extra column here. So I'll hit insert and I'll call this column significance. And so here I'm going to use a formula so I'll say equals, I'll type the word if, open parentheses, and then I'll click on this cell. So I want to say if cell C2 is less than 0 0.05, comma, the value, if it's true, will be significant. Or let's just say sig in double quotes, comma, the value if false is going to be not sig in quotes. And close the parentheses and hit enter and you'll see that now this says significant because it's less than 0.05 and so if you double click on the corner of this cell when it's selected it will copy and paste all the way down to the end of the file and so you can see for each gene whether it's significant or not at 0.05 and let's create another column here let's call this um, we'll insert it here and we'll call this the absolute value of the fold change so here I'll do something similar. I'll say equals ABS, which is the formula for absolute value. Open a parentheses. I'll click on cell B1, which is the fault change. Close the parentheses and hit enter. And again, I'll click on the box and double click the corner, which will copy everything down. And this will give me the log or, or the absolute value of the log fault change. So now if I go over uh, and uh, depending on which version of Excel you're using, I'm not sure where your filter button will be, but if you hit, on mine at least, if you hit this little button that looks like a filter or, or a, a, um, a funnel, uh, you can also go to the Data tab and hit Filter. You'll see that these little arrows pop up on the, on the column headers. So here, if I click that, I say I only want to see uh, significant, not uh, not significant. So I'll uncheck that box and all the not significant hits go away. Okay. So now I'm only showing the hits that are significant at 0.05 or less. So now if I want to see what are the highest fold changes, the absolute value of the fold changes, I'll click on this column and again on the data but on the data uh, tab, there should be a, a something that looks like this where you have an A and a Z. Uh, this is the sort button and if I sort descending. This will put the highest uh, absolute value of the fold change uh, at the top and, and decrease to the bottom. So this is showing the fold changes, uh, uh, the most uh, differential expressed genes um, from the, the highest fold change to the smallest, uh, only for the genes that are statistically significant. And then I can turn this filter off if I want to and show all the genes uh, and so on. And so you can go through and do some filtering and sorting uh, pretty easily. Uh, this way.